All right, now, Corey Holcomb in the 5150 Gang Speaks. Let's see what they got to say. If we being in the spirit of Corey Holcomb level honesty, most niggas have never really won long term with a black woman. Mm. Most niggas win for four, five years, 10 years, 15 years, something happened, divorce, you know, but most haven't. And that's just my observation with my Do friends, you, my, you know, I, relatives. You. you know what I'm saying? What is that with any bitch, though? Oh, I, I, Marcus, you, you it, took the words out of my mouth. Hold on, hold on. Me too, Marcus. But, 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 but it could be with any chick. But in my circle of niggas, we deal with black women. Oh, so I feel that's you. Why, you so know what I'm saying? To, okay, so yeah, yeah. I can say, and I'm talking family and everything, that I can't, I mean, it ain't too many modern examples. Now, you can win and then go get you a, a, a bad black woman. I'm talking about if you want one of, of status of caliber, of some type of caliber, or if you've been taught how to pick. But is, he, is you win, then go get you one? You know what I'm saying? Or maybe she win and then she come get you. But to win, like, with her, meaning we build something from scratch together. And, and our culture, it seems like everybody wants a ready-made nigga that they could just tuck up under. Now they want to respect them. Go ahead. We already see it every day, all these conversations. No one wants to work together. Or people are so afraid of someone screwing them over, for lack of a better way to describe it, that they sabotage and get out, move on, don't eat or sabotage themselves before they even get to the aisle, honestly. And it is a lot of women that do that. I'm not saying that men don't. However, what is wrong with working with someone? Like, you know, people want to clown. Oh, you didn't go to college because you went and married a, a, a CDO uh, man. Like, you're, you're not hurting me because... I've had many successes and I'm not out here struggling as a single mother, or let me rephrase, never had to be out here struggling as a single mother built enough and came up and was able to uh, get through child rearing. Y'all can't even get through birth and, <laughs> and you blame it on someone else. And it's like, well, what vetting did you do? What were you looking at when you determined that somebody should become the father of your child? Now, I know most people will say they did it on accident. They didn't know. And as soon as they got pregnant, it's excuse after excuse after excuse. Even though we see example after example after example where the woman chose a bum. Pukna Quantavia, shout out to him. But it's never going to change as long as the defiant, I don't do anything wrong attitude exists. Why, why would someone, honestly, for the most part, go build themselves up and then come through to get whoever that's a bum? Like even these men who are older, who are Leonardo DiCaprio, for example, Leonardo 40 some 50 maybe, gets the 25 and under crew. They're not big. They're not tattooed up. They're not, they're not out there. Just quiet, thin women that are beautiful to him. And then he does what he does until they get to the age that he's done with them. And then there's always one after that. So once they get to that status, why would they deal with all this craziness that we be seeing when they can do the Leonardo route and just find someone that looks like something, probably quiet, probably will do whatever, probably enjoys what he has to offer whatever that might be, and then moves on. Their status is higher. They've been with Leonardo. They've taken advantage of whatever it is that he had to offer. And then they move on to whatever is next. Like, honestly, in my mind, like, this is not rocket science, but, you know, in the community, you, they believe what they want to believe and continue to lose, lose, lose over and over and over again. Fuck with you. So we, we basing this on our limited experience. How many old black couples have you seen? Old black couples? I mean, I seen quite yeah, a few. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For How sure. many old interracial couples have you seen? I mean, my great grandmothers, you know what I'm saying, and my grandfather, they was together 75 years. They but moved but, to California but, from Allegheny, Michigan, because, because uh, was Pasadena one. was one of the first places to openly right. accept interracial dating. So they left Allegheny, Michigan. Basically, they was going to get murdered. They moved here so they could be together. So I, they, they stuck mm -hmm. it through the whole motherfucking time. Oh, yeah. y'all, the stuff you saying is making my point that I'm going to say at the, at the Marcus. <laughs> Go ahead, Marcus. Ask him what you want to ask him. He said that they were probably going to get uh, deleted, and that was on a, a completely different time. So they had to move someplace where they would accept an interracial couple, and then they stuck it together. That was also probably some years ago, way back in the 60s, possibly 50s, 
where people decided to stick together, work through it, get together and, and raise their families and sail on into the sun sunset. But people around here just think just because uh, somebody comes into their DM, they're like, oh, I'm out, oh, I'm out. And just foolishness, not even thinking about their family, not even thinking about their future, not even thinking about their kids. Nothing but self. Very selfish. That's, that's what I'm going to say. <clears throat> I don't know any interracial date. I mean, that's mm. within your family. So, you know, do you know any outside of that? I, man, I said I... For me, man, nah, I mean, I don't know. That's what I'm it's saying. I mean, ain't nobody's shit really working out. But That's I mean, right. It's hard. It's but hard. I've, I've seen way Way-around. more old black couples than I've seen black and white. I don't think I've ever seen any this older, yo, like 80, you know what I'm saying, a black interracial couple. They're 80, 70, 70, 80 years old. People ain't even making it that far. Well, 60. No I, don't even, I don't even think I've even seen 60. I've black seen people. a lot of interracial couples, but here's the thing. Homie, black women are lost mentally right. they've been taught by our oppressors on what to do and how to act black men are raised by them so they lost too yeah, we- uh-oh 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 somebody gonna be mad mad but is he lying the point I'm trying to ask you is, do you think you are wise enough to find somebody who really fuck with you? No. And do you have the patience to wait for, I call it God, God to put somebody like that in your life? No. I, I wish I had somebody like the minister that I could call. Nobody in my family, and I got a lot of family members, is qualified to teach me how to pick a bra. Not even my pops. Mm. Oh, well, that's a word right there, too. And part of the problem, and the community specifically, shout out to everyone else that might be here, is the fact that people don't know how to vet. I call it vet. They say and pick whatever the word you want to use. Women, of course, who look superficially, they're only looking for money and then wonder why they get the results that they do, looking for someone that's ready made. Then the men have no clue. That's why we got these gremlins out here gremlinizing because no one's raising them. So these people that we see going to jail, these kids that are um, doing this heinous stuff that they're doing or getting deleted, probably are leaving behind kids. Not now, not all of them, but probably a significant amount. I'm not even saying half of them, but a significant amount is probably leaving kids because if they're in this type of lifestyle that we see, odds are they're having relations, probably not using protection. So the cycle continues. I don't, I, I can't think of, a, I can't think of, you know what I'm saying? I just, you know what I mean? And that's some fucked up shit to say, man. But I'm telling you, man, like, it's this, it's, what, what's that saying? There's no healthy way to integrate into a sick society. This is a materialistic consumerism Facts, yep. based society where yep. if you're not leaking money or spending money at a problem, you're not gonna get the respect of any woman that's Europeanized. You gotta find somebody that's been stripped totally of that cultural way of thinking and is either engulfed in some heavy Sunni Muslim stuff. Or, and it don't know. have to be Sunni Muslim yeah. stuff, Craig, but what you're saying makes sense. You have to understand, this is all a game. If your girl yep. participates yep. in the game, there's no way she can respect you because no, they're yeah. taught not to respect us. Right. You gotta get you a woman in the country. That's what yeah, I made do. Really in the country, or, them, out to my family oriented. Them flip flop wearing bitches in the country <laughs> lost like a motherfucker. And right now, at the times we're in, Marcus. Well, I'll it's tell all, you, man, oh, you I'm go out in that country, you. man, you'll meet motherfucker. Ain't mean, never, ain't never even seen outside the city, boy. In another. <laughs> Well, I agree with this whole conversation. It's sad to say, I know there'll be a lot of you TBBs up in here all upset and got your, you know, attitude on, which is whatever. That's why the passport bros are, they doing their thing. And they're doing their thing for this exact reason based off of this conversation right here. But y'all let me know what you think. Make sure you comment. Make sure you like. Make sure you subscribe. I appreciate you. I'll see you all in the next one.